Mm. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like two weeks since I've posted a video and mainly it's because I've been sick. I had like a really bad cold. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm still a little crusty but I didn't want to do my makeup over that. Like I hate doing my makeup when I'm sick. So I haven't made a video for you guys yet but we're going to jump into that today. Um, here's the here's my infamous setting spray that I always forget to apply in all of my videos. So, I don't really know how I got sick, you guys. I just, like, caught the sick. I think that, um... I think that my mom got me sick because she works like with kids and I think that the kids got her sick and then she brought it home and got me sick. It's over with, it's out of the way, it's gone, it's done with and now we're going to jump right in to this super fun, cute, easy, simple video. Just kidding. So as you guys may know, um, my YouTube channel is a little all over the place. I don't really have a set thing that I talk about. I talk about whatever, whenever. Um, this is a place for me to come and just express myself in any way, anyhow, any shape, any form. But today, I wanted to do a little makeup video. It's not going to be anything too technical. It's something that all you guys can follow and you guys can do on a daily basis. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Foundation. Concealer. Powder. Highlight. And lipstick. That's it. Like, that's basically it. So anyway, just kidding. And spray. I've already primed my face. I have not put any eyebrows on, although it looks like I have on eyebrows. Because I tinted my brows. But, I'm still going to fill them in just a little bit. Because usually when I apply a red lipstick, it makes me look a little washed out. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen today. So I'm going to actually start by spraying myself with my... Um, all day glam spray. I've already primed my face like I said. I don't use over-the-counter primer because I kind of have like sensitive skin and I also just like to use the cream that I personally made. It's really good. So I'm gonna spray this all over my face. What a luck. What I love about my setting spray is that it has like the most unique smell. And, like, I love it. Most setting sprays have, like, zero scent. Or they do have a scent, but it's, like, usually all smells the same. Mine is Rose Lavender. Now that I've applied my spray throughout my face, I'm going to go ahead and now jump right into my foundation. I know you guys have been seeing me use this Makeup Revolution um, stick often it's because I am in love with it I 100% recommend this stick it is a foundation stick but I also use it as a concealer sometimes so I'm gonna go ahead in with this stick make sure you guys get it um, your skin tone um, I know sometimes it's hard to color match with foundations maybe I'll make a video of that in the future but for now um, make sure you have your correct shade and you're gonna apply this everywhere I'm not going to lie right now, I'm doing this without a mirror. Should we make this a challenge? So, actually, I'm using the mirror on my camera. So if it looks like I'm not looking at you, I'm not. So like I said, this is like a super easy makeup look, like just a few steps. Wow, that's actually really good. Do you guys see why I love this stick? I applied it, and then I just literally blended it in. Like, it's, like, not that bad. 
right? And if you're wondering, yeah, I switched out that pillow because this pillow is cuter. Okay. Take your concealer, whatever concealer you prefer. Make sure your concealer isn't too, too white or isn't too, too dark because you're not going to really like look good, girl. I'm not going to add like a lot. <laughs> this looks like a lot, doesn't it? I'm not going to add like, like a lot. Usually I'd bring my concealer like down, down. But lately I've been going for a more like um, less makeup look, I guess. But that's because I've been lazy and just try to get in and out of the door quicker. But this will save you a lot of time and a lot of product. So you're going to apply some to your nose. And then... I'm gonna do a little bit up there. Now I'm gonna take the same brush, and you know what's crazy? You know why I like to use the same brush that I applied my foundation with to apply my. You know what's another crazy thing? I forgot to put my microphone on here. So I hope you guys can hear me well. But anyway, so. Um, I like to use my foundation brush to blend out my concealer because there's already product on my foundation brush and I feel like it blends the two together a lot better than using a already clean brush. I feel like an already clean brush will take off majority of the product. So yeah, I feel like um, a clean brush will take off majority of the product. But I start off with clean brushes. All my brushes are clean, always 95 times out of 10. 100 times out of 10. But um, when I apply my concealer, I just like to use the same brush as my foundation. So I'm going to blend that out. Also, FYI, it's 9 a.m. It's exactly 9.23. I just woke up and decided that I wanted to film a video for you guys because a few of you guys um, messaged me and said, Yo, we love your videos. Where the hell have you been? So, it's been about a week, and I was about sick as a dog. So, now we're back on track, guys. And we finna start this Monday off right! Another thing I'm gonna completely skip because I'm lazy okay, is the dark cream contour because we're gonna go for a more, you know, natural makeup looks. Not too, too much product. So we're not gonna actually. I hate when I get foundation on my lips. We're actually not going to apply dark cream um, contour. Now you're going to grab your favorite powder. Doesn't matter which kind. I like to use a banana powder. It's just a powder kind of powder I like for my skin tone. Um, you could use a lighter color, but I feel like using lighter colors sometimes whitewash me. I don't want to be whitewashed. If that's even a word. Okay. Now I put my powder on this super cute candle lid. No, dead serious. And I'm going to take my brush and apply this powder throughout my entire face. Since the foundation was exactly my shade, um, 
I don't even need to add a dark contour because I'm just going to um, contour with a powder. And do you see how like skinny that looks? It looks like skin. I don't look too greasy or anything like that. And then another thing, I hate when people are like, ew, what's that all over your cheek? Bitch, it's highlight. If you don't get with the era, we gonna leave you. This is looking really good for 15 minutes. The forehead, the five head, hey, ain't nothing wrong with a little big of a forehead. You know what they say, girls with big noses and big foreheads, got that good cooking. So now that we have completed our powder, we're going to add a little dark powder. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Broken Ass Palette because it's one of my favorites. So the key to applying this is blending. So you want to like press but not too hard and then you want to bring the product up and around your face so that you're not super white in all the other areas and you look good. I also want to take this time to talk about something a little more personal. I lost a friend of mine. Um, we weren't super close, but I worked with her my first job. She was an amazing, beautiful woman. Her name was Michelle. She was probably one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. <clears throat> and we lost her. But I'm glad that she's watching over all of us, including her family. Condolences to the family, to close friends. I'm telling you, I, I think I've said it like a hundred times. There was no one like that girl. Like, no one. She was truly one of a kind. Truly one of a kind. I just can't get her off my head. I've had her on my mind for, since it happened. I'm actually going to stop and take a break because I have to use the bathroom. Then I'm going to go ahead and with my brows. And then when I want to have more natural brows, I just line the bottom of my brow and then I bring up the product. That's basically how I do it. Like, see how I lined the bottom? I don't know if you can tell. It's like, not on the side, but on that side. Maybe a little bit more. So you guys can see. Okay, do you guys see it? See how I, like, lined the bottom of my lash? My lash. <laughs> do you see how I lined the bottom of my brow? I think I've been saying lash this entire time. I meant eyebrow. So you see how I kind of like line the bottom of my eyebrow? Then you just want to bring that product upwards.
Now that we've done that, we're going to clean them up with a little bit of concealer, add some highlight, and some lipstick. We're going to add a little bit of highlight. A little bit of highlight. Oh, child. Oh, child. Yes, girl. Girl. Now that we've finished our highlighter, I used Iced Up from Sam's Glam Shop. You guys can purchase that now. We actually have a sale going on until Monday when this video will be posted. I will be posting this video early on Monday. So if you guys did not catch the sale over the weekend, then it lasts until midnight tonight, Eastern Time. So make sure you guys get on that. It is buy three lashes, get two free. Um, or I'm pretty sure you can do 20% off on a highlighter. So, get on it or get lost. So now that I've finished my makeup, ah, it's lipstick time. I'm going to go ahead and add my Sam's Glam Shop new lipstick because we did take off our Christmas collection. So that means our red lippy is gone. But... Don't worry, all the orders for our Christmas collection are out and soon you will be able to buy our new lip collection. So this lipstick is called Red Bottom. And it will be available for springtime in the beginning of April. I'll make sure to let you guys know when I figure it out. So now we're going to apply our lippy. So this is our red bottom lipstick, guys, and it will be available super, super soon. So make sure you guys keep a lookout. Okay, guys, so that is all for my, just kidding, <laughs> for my set spray again. Okay, guys, that is it for my video today. I am fully finished with my look. Super easy, super simple. Five to six products and a new lipstick. What more could you ask for? If you guys would like to shop this highlighter and this lipstick, link will be below. Make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly thank you guys all for tuning in and keeping up with me. I know I am a hot mess, but listen... We're here to grow together, right? Right. And if you'd like to shop my amazing Rose Lavender Set Spray, link will also be in the bottom. Sam's Glam Shop. Make sure you guys use that code so you get free lashes and 20% off. So if you guys like my video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment below what you thought, what you want to see next, and any other opinions you guys might possibly have that you think I need to hear. Yeah. Oh, 
one other thing. Before we leave, before we leave, I'm actually working on a new song, you guys. I wrote my first song by myself. I'm a little bit nervous. You guys want to hear it? And my boyfriend cut me off mid-song. But you guys get the idea of what I'm going with with this song. I'm super excited because I've never written my own music. This is my first time and I have extreme stage fright. So we're going to see how far this takes me. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you guys thought of my song. And make sure you guys do everything else I said below. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.